with Krista McLemore. This week we're making sweet bourbon salmon. I think that's the name of it. With roasted potatoes and asparagus. So let's get started with the marinade because it has to marinate for an hour and it's already 5.30 and I'm hungry. Jack Daniels. If you saw on Tuesday, I released a video making a Jack Daniels cocktail that you can pair with your salmon dish. So let's go ahead and get started making our salmon. A quarter cup of pineapple juice. Unfortunately, it comes in a four pack and I only need a quarter of a cup. <laughs> That's it. Double the recipe because I have a lot of salmon. <laughs> Still a lot of pineapple juice left. Oh, comment below. What else can I do with pineapple juice since I have three and a half cans left? Make it a drink. Or a dessert. There. Challenge. I'm putting my marinade in a shallow baking dish because I'm going to put the salmon in here and let it marinate while we're working on our potatoes and asparagus. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Four tablespoons because we're doubling it. I'll put the link for this recipe below. I've been using it for years. If you don't like salmon, Crystal, you can use chicken. Then we need brown sugar. Four tablespoons of that as well. Two tablespoons is for the regular, which will be in the recipe below, but I'm doubling, so I'm using, I'm doing four. Then we need burger bin. This says one teaspoon, and I bought this size. <laughs> One, two, pepper, cracked black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon garlic powder is the doubled, so you'll only want an eighth. And just whisk it together until the sugar dissolves. Okay, and now we need vegetable oil, which I will use an entire cup for the double, half for the regular. A lot of oil. That's okay, it's marinating. Now you'll put your salmon in your marinade and put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour. Oh, that's gonna marinate while our potatoes are roasting, so it might not be a whole hour, but that's okay. So let's get the potatoes going. So our potatoes are going to take longer than our asparagus, so I'm going to get those going first and then um, every so often I'm going to toss them in the oven and then when we're about mm, 15 minutes before the potatoes are done, we're going to dress the asparagus and share the pan and make everything come together timely, unlike spaghetti and meatballs. Improvise. So we need to wash our potatoes just to get the little junk off. And my strainers are on the bottom shelf, but I can't bend over right now because I hurt my back. So I have a lovely microwave cover that has holes in it. I'm like the MacGyver in the kitchen. Why did you pick those potatoes? Because they're pretty. <laughs> no other reason. Little olive oil on them. Drizzling olive oil. Okay, black pepper, or this is salt. That's about a tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic. I'm just gonna throw it in there dry. Just a little bit. Oh no! It broke. And a little bit of time. Do you have the time? No. I've got the time. 
just a little bit. About two teaspoons, so a little bit more. And one clove of garlic is what I put on there, roughly. Now we're just gonna toss these around to coat. So they all get a little bit of every flavor, a little bit of love. They roast for 25 to 30 minutes <laughs> at 400 degrees and our oven is already preheated. Asparagus. I'm only gonna do half a bundle because we also have potatoes and salmon. <laughs> drizzle some more olive oil on it. Extra virgin olive oil. Maybe about another tablespoon. Again with cracked black pepper. Salt. Maybe about a quarter teaspoon, eighth of a teaspoon on both of those. little garlic. A very small amount of garlic, maybe hmm, half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, half clove, however you're going to do it. And about hmm, a tablespoon of Parmesan is good. I'm using the grated kind because that's what I have accessible to me. So I'm just like the potatoes, going to toss them around in all of this flavor goodness. And I should put a timer on those potatoes. We'll do 25 minutes. That's on the potatoes. I'm going to say probably in mm, 10 minutes I'll add them, add the asparagus to the pan. We have put the asparagus in with the potatoes and they're going to cook for the rest of the 25-30 minute timer that was on them. So we're going to put the salmon in a dry pan on the stove top medium-high heat. Doing it in a dry pan because there is so much oil already in this we don't need to add any more. Oh, pan. Uh, yeah that's hot. Throughout the process we're gonna do five to seven minutes on both sides. I feel like I'm yelling now because that's awfully loud. Is it smoky in here? We're going to do five to seven minutes on both sides and we're going to baste the marinade along the way. This is the first time I've actually, you know, I do a lot of firsts on camera for this show. I'm wondering if that should be my shtick because, I mean, seriously, everything I've done is like, except for the Dutch babies, that's it. I cooked pasta before, so there's always that. Asparagus. One, two, three, four. I'll take this tuxedo one because he's here to party. You see how it's no longer translucent pink? It's the solid, opaque pink. That's how you know it's done. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna eat your little potato. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Butter and Salt. I hope you enjoyed this week's salmon, whiskey, bourbon, sweet bourbon recipe, whatever it was called. The link's below. 
um, a com accompanied by pretty roasted mini potatoes and asparagus in Parmesan. If you want to subscribe, click the button up here. It's a little white box that appears and then you hover over it and it says subscribe. If you can't find that, you can just find my picture just below the video and next to it says subscribe there. You can just click on that. If you want to see the video for the Jack Daniels and Vanilla Pepsi that we made from last Tuesday, go ahead and click this box, I think, and you'll have more videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you have any suggestions for what we should make on butter and salt, just let me know. Uh, you can comment below. I hope you tune in next week. Bye! Yeah.